Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Majelis by Zoa Aroma. So it's the second fragrance I own from them that is original creation. I have some other ones that, like this one, are clones of other fragrance. I will go to them. This is the last one now that I'm gonna try that is an original creation. I only got samples, so I have nothing to show you. It's a small bottle you can find on Amazon with some label that you print out of a little thing. So we're now gonna try to smell. The bottle might be ugly, but the um, spray is good. Especially for like that thing. The spray is good. It, when I smell it, it's weird because the first thing I get, it's the floral notes. But the floral notes are like super in the background. I don't know, it's just everything all together. It seems like the floral notes support everything. Then I, I smell some spicy note, but it's mixed with other stuff. It's hard to, to say it. I would say that's the spicy notes, the honey, tonka bean, vanilla, and the cacao note all working together. That really tells a lot about this fragrance. I think versus the other one I tried, the white leather, this one is not done as well than the other one. The blending is not as good. I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance, it's just that it's the quality is, is lower than the other one. Not the quality, the, I don't know how to explain it. How it's made, I see a difference. In the, in the two. The, the other one, white letter, is really non-linear. There's different phase during the fragrance where you see different, smell different things. This one is kind of a mess a little bit of different smell altogether. And then it kind of get better, become some spicy, ambery fragrance. Then it finish into a little bit of oud. Projection is good. It's Close bubble around you, people will be able to smell you. Longevity also is good from 7 to 12 hour. You know, it will last the whole day. So it's nice. And for the complete note breakdown, there's only notes in this fragrance, no top, heart, and uh, base. So the notes are vanilla, coffee, cacao, tonka bean, honey, spices, floral, accord, amber, and agar wood or wood. Where we would see this fragrance, it would be kind of a little bit going everywhere. It's more of a winter fragrance than a summer fragrance. The smell is really wintry. And also the projection won't, won't make it good during summer. It could be nice during winter, though the projection is not crazy when you go outside. I would see it like a nice business fragrance. It wouldn't be the best but it could be nice i would see other stuff maybe from that line it would be a good one i haven't tried most of them but it, that's where i would see it the most could be nice for dating too the thing with it smells it could be nice during the holidays even though holidays are over now but where i think i would see it the most is not necessarily business but you know in uh, everyday use as a uh, fragrance you wear like daily it's a nice fragrance it smells good even though I say it's kind of a mess in the beginning it's not a bad mess it's just that it's hard to detect stuff through this fragrance and what's nice with this fragrance is that the price is good and the smell lasts the whole day so that will make will make it good as an everyday fragrance so I hope you enjoyed this video if it's the case, we'll like and share. If you tried this fragrance or another from Zoaroma, just write it in the comment. I'll be happy to hear from you. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.